Hey, it's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Walling. My guest for this segment is Charity Davis with Aspire Speech and Learning Center. Yes. Charity, welcome Thank to the you. show. Thank you. So, Aspire Speech and Learning Center. Tell mm-hmm. me about it. Um, we're like a speech therapy clinic, and then we also have a learning center as well. Okay. So, um, we have um, kind of uh, tutoring sessions that we do one-on-one um, all year long, which is kind of what I, I work with. And then um, this summer we're doing special uh, camps that we're offering. Well, we'll get we'll get to that. In a mm-hmm. I know you want to talk. No, nope, yeah. We'll get to that I in a minute. So, <laughs> so tell tell us a little bit about Aspire. And now uh, you said about a year and a half ago you went through a name change. Yes. But you've been around for like twenty five years or something. Yeah, we used to be Center for Communication Skills, okay. and um, Kathy Wage started it. She's a speech uh, pathologist, and she started this company. So we have a lot of. A speech therapist in the building so um, it's really easy to get in and we have a lot of great, great uh, speech therapists there mm-hmm. and then she saw that there was a need for a learning center as well okay um, so a lot of the kids will start speech and then move to the learning exactly. center side um, or just come in for the learning center yeah so let's talk a little bit about the learning center mm-hmm. You said you take from like kindergarten all the way through and into college yes mm-hmm. and uh, as as a like a, a parent or maybe even a, a, like a high school student or early college, what would uh, what would be some key things I would look for that would maybe clue me in that you know going to a learning center might help right. me in my career as a student? Yeah, a lot of times, um, you know, of course during um, the tests and things throughout the year, if some if your child's a little behind in a certain subject, then you might need extra help. A lot of times if your child's getting an IEP, then we have a lot of kids that come to us for that. Mm-hmm. Um, or we have other kids that are homeschooled that need extra help or just um, a subject um, in school that we help them with or we'll have um, occasionally called students. And, and Charity, you said this is done through like tutoring. Yes. Is it one-on-one or yeah. do we have like group tutoring or, you know? Yeah, it's work? it's always one-on-one. Always one-on-one. Mm-hmm. One. Yeah. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Get a lot of personal attention. Yes. Um, and you've been with them now, you said a little over two years? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You like doing it? Yes, I yeah? really like it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a great place. What is, what is it that kind of really sets you off that, that makes you enjoy your job so much? Um, I think because we're very like um, focused on goals and progression and because it's one-on-one you can really see um, the individual kid and really help them in you know different ways that they aren't getting at school or at home and we really focus on um, how they're progressing and then being able to communicate that to the parents and 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 you're able to watch this as a as it moves forward, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes kids will stay with us for years, so it's really, really fun. Mm-hmm. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Obviously, it must be working for them. I hope so. <laughs> there you go. Well, I hope so, too. Um, okay, so is there any particular uh, topics that you focus on, or is it pretty much across the, the spectrum? Yeah, so we're it's pretty much everything, but we are a little specialized in the sense of we've picked out programs that sort of cater towards dyslexia or um, language processing type of disorders but they also work for you know anyone who's just trying to get ahead of it as well so Mm -hmm. we have special kind of programs that we focus on for that but we'll also do homework help and things so okay besides topics like math reading and so on Mm -hmm. you actually address things that um you know someone that is having difficulty learning that you know wherever their deficit might be in that you you mentioned like dyslexia and stuff those mm-hmm. are those are you know difficulties that uh, a student has that's not directly related to any particular topic right. but just their ability to to kind of get a handle on interacting mm-hmm. with the things that they got to learn that's kind of awesome yeah mm-hmm. yeah I like that <laughs> and you're the coordinator yes and uh you were telling me that you you get to put together all these these programs and stuff mm-hmm. yep. um I help What's decide your, what kind of programs are used for yeah, the kids. What's your biggest challenge for you as a coordinator? Um, probably my biggest challenge is just making sure that um, they are getting what they need on top of just the school subject. But like you said, we do help with dyslexia or any other 
uh, diagnosed disorders or just anything that we have to identify that might be um, holding the back a little bit. So that's probably the most difficult just because, you know, you have to be on top of what um, what might be going on on top of just yeah, the learning. You can't just, you know, t put them out there and say, okay, you know, we'll evaluate you in a year or two. you got to right. kind of stay on top of yeah. it. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, uh, that's got to be a challenge yeah. of sorts. It <laughs> uh, also has to be very rewarding, too. Yes. Um, but now then, we'll get to what you wanted to talk about, now that I got the information <laughs> I wanted. Yes. we got some stuff coming up for summer. Mm -hmm. Charity, tell me about it. So during the year, like I said, we do one-on-one -on -one tutoring. Right. Um, but during the summer, we're offering um, a math club. So you can have a group of kids, and we'll kind of do a lot of fun uh, projects and games kind of related to the different math subjects to either get ahead or mm -hmm. to catch kids up things like right. that and um, we're doing also um, a handwriting camp so that one's really fun it's, okay, I'm gonna stop yes. you right there <laughs> no, go to handwriting we're, we're talking about writing and script writing right yes mm -hmm. I heard that schools kind of did away with that or at least in some areas well it's actually really important for um, learning in general for how your brain's processing the learning and reading and such really? so um, it's really important not to do away with that <laughs> okay. um, and our programs actually based on um, occupational therapists wrote it so it's very um, formation and, and using your body correctly for the writing um, as well as learning how to write better and things like that so you know they never told me about those things when I was learning yeah <laughs> yep. oh, that's great okay so we've got math we've got writing what else do we mm -hmm. have what um, other areas? we're also offering um, a program called fast forward it's okay. a online program but it's specifically catered this one's one-on-one -on -one, not in a camp but um, it's really good if your kids behind on um, reading or if they're just struggling with communication in general mm -hmm. then it's really really good for that and, and that they can do online from home um they can do it yes yeah, okay. so we're offering two different ones so they can do a couple weeks with us so that they're getting extra you know intensive help okay um, or they can do one at home cool mm -hmm. um, and that these programs start when do they okay we're, I imagine you're taking signups yeah. as we speak mm -hmm. Which is good for you if you have kids, but yeah. when do the classes begin? Uh, they begin June um, 17th is our first session. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's, it's coming up what, yeah. in about a month and a half. Yeah. So now's the time to prepare, huh? Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, Charity, if, uh, if you had the opportunity to speak to parents, and I'm going to say that, you know, if you look at the camera, essentially you're going to have the opportunity yeah. to speak to parents. What message would you like to convey to them about what they should be aware of? For, you know when they're working with their child uh, to look for that may trigger the idea that maybe we need a little bit more help than what I can give them at home right. well so one key would be if you um, if they are a little behind or you're they're needing summer school then they might need an extra um, help there also I would say if they're just not enjoying school a lot of times our camps are fun because they're groups or they're really even the one-on-ones like they mm -hmm. really make it um they they make a lot of progress but it's also very enjoyable for them so yeah. that's one thing if they're really not liking school if they're a little behind that can be a problem yeah mm -hmm. they, they don't if they don't like it if they're not interested they're not going to be very motivated to right. do what they need to do right so these camps since they're not like all summer long they're mm -hmm. just little intensive segments right then they can make them learn but also be more excited for cool them. Mm -hmm. all right you said they're not all summer long do besides the ones that are starting on around june 17th mm -hmm. are you are there others that will you know begin later on during the yeah summer? we have three different sessions okay. so um many of the camps will happen during june 17th and then later in july uh -huh. um, and then we have a reading writing one that will be happening um in kind of middle of july time. can i sign up for that one yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no that's great yeah. well that's got to be exciting mm -hmm. And you don't get you don't get summer vacation like regular schools, huh? You working? No. <laughs> oh, well, listen, Charity. I want to thank you for being right, with us thank today. Thank you. I think that's some neat stuff that your your organization is doing. If you have a child, you know, and and I was kind of joking, but if you have a child that is is not real interested in school, um, regardless of anything else that's going on with them, uh, that that's an issue you need to address right away because that's going to lead to other things that you don't want to have to deal with as they get older. 
<laughs> and you know, it may be a learning issue, it may be a lot of things, but if they have the opportunity to work with, you know, what you are providing for, you evaluate the, the yeah. kids when they come. So yes. you can kind of, you know, see where they're at and where they're going mm -hmm. and, uh, and then give them the stimulus, I'm going to use that word, yeah. that they might need to help, uh, you know, maybe move themselves up a little bit, you mm -hmm. know, build some interest, get excited. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Well, that's really mm -hmm. good. I want to thank you for being with me today. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. And as uh, as the year moves on, you know, things come up. If if there's like open houses or something like yeah. that that, mm -hmm. that you're going to have, come on back and we'll talk about it. Yes. All right. I won't make it too difficult for <laughs> you. No. Thanks for being with thank us today. Thank you. Very important subject, folks. Pay attention. And I'll see you when we come back.